Hello, my name is McKay Moore Solberg and I am the proud director of the Communication Disorders and Sciences program here at the University of Oregon. People often ask me, what makes your program unique? And I would say that one of the predominant unique features of the U of O CDS program is the integration of clinical and academic training. So faculty often supervise in the clinic as well as teach academic courses. Clinical supervisors often contribute to the academic courses as well. Students say that one of the most special uh, aspects or characteristics of our program is the cohort learning model. I've come to really appreciate the cohort model of the CDS program. This model facilitates a community of learning where by sharing similar classes, students feel better supported to work together. Each member of our cohort contributes a wide variety of knowledge and experiences that collectively enhances my educational opportunities both within the classroom and in the clinic. It's really encouraging and comforting to have a group of people who are reliable and consistent to go to to bounce ideas off one another and develop strategies to better enhance our educational experience here at U of O. One of the aspects I value most about the U of O CDS program is our approach to training students to be scientific practitioners. The emphasis on research-based practices is infused throughout the program. One example of this is NeuroRounds. Students in our graduate program will all have clients that they see in our clinic. And when they have an adult client with a neurogenic disorder, they participate in NeuroRounds. It's modeled much like what we see in medical training programs for physicians, where the students come together and present their cases. They prepare their presentation ahead of time, they come to the group and present it, and then the students and the faculty ask them questions. Some are for clarification, sometimes they're really to increase the students learning to really help them work through some clinical problems, um, those clinical conundrums that we all have. And overall, what we're really looking at is not only the increase in the professional presentation skills, but also that they increase their ability to make rational clinical decisions. I've been able to see a wide range of clients from ASD to motor speech, aphasia, um, autism, and I really feel prepared to um, serve clients in whatever um, setting I choose to work in. Students register for clinic all seven terms of the program and they start out their first term with probably just one, maybe two clients. Then the number of clients gradually increases over those seven terms until those last two terms they do their two externships. We provide very thorough and regular supervision and support initially and as students get more experience we make sure that they take over and make the decisions in terms of planning the session, implementing the session and also writing the documentation. Our clinic is in the newly built HETCO Education Building on the university campus and it provides space for individual and group therapy and allows access to the newest technology. I'm Cecilia Kirk and I'm a professor in the Communication Sciences and Disorders program. One of the aspects of the CDS program that I'm involved in is mentoring what we call evidence-based practice projects. This project is the capstone learning experience of our master's program. All students conduct a literature search looking at the available empirical evidence related to an intervention area of interest. Students then implement the target intervention with an appropriate client. Students present their projects in a formal conference and we invite community SLPs and faculty to attend these presentations. What I appreciate most about this program is the staff and faculty's willingness to work with me. Given that I have a family, it's presented different challenges for me in completing this program on a daily basis and I feel like everybody has been very understanding about that and I feel as though I've given a maximum level of support. I know it's hard as a student to decide where should I go to graduate school and what, what would I make that decision based on. I think clinical training is a big piece. I'm a person who's been a working clinician for my whole career, so I believe strongly in the clinical training we provide. 
We do an enormous amount of individualized work with each student to really prepare them to go out. We have a strong relationship with the community, so you have lots of opportunities to go out, be in different community placements. And then there are two full-time externships, one in a medical setting and one in a public school setting. So you will have completed all of your coursework. You won't spend any time on campus. You'll spend 100% of your time in a full-time placement, either in the public schools or the medical. Very few programs are able to offer that, and I think it's a real strength in our training. We hope you've been able to get a bit of a feel for our program. As you can see, we are very proud of the Communication Disorders and Sciences program at the University of Oregon. Perhaps the best indicator of the quality of our training is the 100% job placement rate that we've had for as long as I can remember us keeping those statistics. Students split between working, about 50% of them go to medical placements and about 50% go to school placements but students are uh, getting employment uh, after training and thus are able to serve and become evidence-based practitioners and serve people with communication disorders. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn about our program.